Why is there a chili on this? What's wrong with you, Daddy? <laughs> oh. That's huh? because he hmm. ate spicy food. <laughs> I can tell you why. Let knowledge click. Oh. Did you know? Spicy uh. isn't really a taste like sweet, sour, or salty. <laughs> Chili peppers have special chemical inside. When it touches your tongue, it tickles your nerves and makes your mouth feel all hot and burny. The nerves send a message to your brain. Your brain thinks you're really burning, so it tells your body to cool down. Like making your heart beat fast, your eyes cry, and your skin sweat. Even though you're not really hot. Oh, But I drink water, why is my mouth still on fire? The spicy chemical doesn't mix with water. Drinking water just spreads the heat. To cool it down, try something with fat or starch, like ice cream, milk, butter, rice, or bread. <sighs> they can wash away the spicy and calm your mouth fast. <laughs> But why do some people like spicy food? <laughs> For some people, spicy food makes their taste buds tingle and gives them a fun feeling, like riding a roller coaster. <laughs> Stay tuned for our next exploration. <laughs> Do you know why cats are scared of cucumbers? Let knowledge cling! Like some other animals that gather in groups, like coyotes. Cats are known for their independent nature and usually travel alone. Because of this nature, cats always have to stay alert to their surroundings. Even a small change can trigger their fire or flying response. But what do cucumbers have to do with this? Scientists still don't have an answer yet, but there are a few theories. Thousands of years ago, cats and sister grew wary of snake-like shapes. This doesn't just happen with cucumbers. Sneaking anything near a cat when it's not expected can startle them. Teasing a cat too much can make it stress, panic, or even lose trust in you. I'm sorry. That's it for today. Join Wufu as he continues exploring the amazing world in the next episodes.
Slow down, Lucy. Don't stub your mouth. You're joking. <laughs> What's happening to me? Your tummy is mad because you didn't chew your food properly. I'll tell you. Let knowledge clear. Inside your tummy is a special team called the digestive system. When you chew your food well, your speed helps make it soft so it can slide down your throat. Then it goes through a long tube and into your stomach. Your stomach squeezes and adds special juices to break the food down. Next, it moves to the small intestine where the food turns into nutrients. The nutrients travel all around your body to help you grow strong. And if you don't chew well, trouble's coming. If a bite of food is too big and go down without enough chewing, it can get stuck in your throat. Not only that, the big piece is hard to digest. Your stomach gets tired and doesn't make enough juice. So you feel full, sore, or hear funny tummy sounds. As a result, your intestines can get all the nutrients. That means even if you eat a lot, your body still doesn't get strong. Wow! Uh -oh. My tummy! I'll chew better and stop rushing my food from now on. That's it for today. Join Wufu as he continues exploring the amazing world in the next episode. Why does my head hurt when I eat ice cream? Oh! Uh, have you ever experienced this like Wufu? Let knowledge click! When you eat, the food touches the roof of your mouth. An area full of blood vessels that lead up to the brain. The cold makes those blood vessels suddenly shrink. And then, they quickly expand again as your mouth warms back up. This fast change tricked the brain into thinking there's pain in your head, which is called a brain freeze. So, how can we avoid brain freeze when eating ice cream? Oh! Oh! If I do this, my brain will stay warm and won't get that icy pain, right? <laughs> <laughs> that wouldn't help much. It's simple. When you get brain freeze, just spread your tongue against the roof of your mouth, the cold part, to warm it up. Or, hmm, you can drink a little warm water. <laughs> And remember to eat your ice cream slowly instead of taking a big bite all at once. <laughs> That's it for today. Join <laughs> Wufu as he continues exploring the amazing world in the next episode. <laughs> <laughs> <Ow>! <laughs>